Elite Facts presents The 10 Most Embarrassing Fails Caught on Live TV 10. Miss World is that annual competition where gorgeous women from all over the globe try to pretend that they're the deepest and worldly people to be judged on who is best. And this year's winner was announced as the stunning Miss Columbia. As she was celebrating her win with the crown and the flowers, something was amiss on the stage. Host Steve Harvey was seen speaking to people off stage. It soon became apparent something was very wrong with the pageant. As Harvey explained, the card he had read from was very misleading and he had actually announced the wrong winner. The crown was taken from Miss Columbia's head and swiftly passed over to the real winner, Miss Philippines. It made the room feel very awkward to say the least. It made for an extremely emotional roller coaster for everyone involved and it won't be something Steve Harvey is allowed to forget for a while. 9. Forever miserable self-loving rapper Kanye West is no real stranger to the limelight. In fact, he'll pop up later on again, but this was probably the most high-profile incident of his at the time. At the 2009 VMAs, Taylor Swift was announced as the winner for the best female video. As she was on stage giving her acceptance speech, who should appear from the crowd but Motormouth Kanye West. Obviously he wasn't happy with her winning the award he felt should have went to Beyonce for her single ladies video. And he let everyone watching know about it. He harped on about letting Swift finish but how he believed Beyonce had one of the greatest videos of all time. Nobody really cared or liked him for it, showing his ignorant and rude side to all. Eight. In the English football system, there are specific windows transfers can be made, and January is one of them. Come January 31st, there is a furor of activity, as clubs from all over Clamber make the last minute signings that might help them survive. This means the poor saps who cover the action get sent to every club's ground waiting on news and with it the fans flock to get on camera. During the 2015 January window, one unsuspecting reporter was about to get more than a whisper in his ear, as he was attacked by a large sex toy in his ear. Needless to say, channels don't send reporters to grounds anymore. Seven. Patricia Navidad is a Mexican singer and actress and has toured and performed all over the country and the world. She is also an actor, so is no stranger to having strains and stressful situations to deal with. But it was on a Mexican morning TV show when she suffered her most embarrassing career moment to date. As she performed, her sanitary towel fell out. It lay on the ground during the whole performance and nobody knew if she actually knew. Like a true professional, she finished the performance and received her ovation. Six. As a TV professional, you understand when doing a live interview that you need to do your best to get something from your subject. Otherwise, it's just boring. Leila Santiago works for WRAL News and was tasked for a piece to chat to music legend Harry Belafonte. The problem was when they cut live to him, he was asleep. The segment was cut pretty quickly and the station now had an empty slot to fill. Five. Miley Cyrus spent most of her career acting as a teen girly girl, Hannah Montana. She was a wholesome and good-natured character who wouldn't do anything wrong. Then in 2014, she suddenly started wearing belts and space boots with dreadlocks in her hair, or even dressed as a colourful beach towel. This was during her time hosting the 2015 MTV Awards and she's been a bit weird since. Some say her tongue hasn't gone back in her mouth since this. But it was her performance with Robin Thicke that night which turned most heads, as she spent most of the performance gyrating and acting all around mental during the song. It was spoke about for all the wrong reasons and it won't be long before she realises how ugly it actually was. Four. To most, it feels like Madonna has been on our screens forever. Well, it is nearly 40 years when you think about it. So in 2015, at the Brit Awards, 
It could be asked why she was once again acting and dancing around stage like she was 21 again. During her bullfighting routine, which involved the use of a huge cape wrapped around her shoulders, one of the clips stayed shut around her, and as a dancer ran off as part of the choreography, down she came. She hit the ground with a bump as her 10-inch ridiculous heels just didn't give her any grip. She managed to finish her song but was left red-cheeked at both ends. Three. Vince McMahon is the owner and often on-screen presence of the WWE. Over the many years, he has some downright strange storylines. But he has also had a lot of ring time. He is no stranger to taking on the pros. So at the 2005 Royal Rumble, during a bit where he came down to the ring to sort out a referee ruling that had gone awry, he made a sprint for the ring and slid under the rope. As he went to get up, he collapsed back down. And there he sat, because he'd gone and torn both his calf muscles and couldn't get up. Everybody thought it was weird as hell. Two. Hurricane Katrina was devastating to the city of New Orleans. It left millions of Americans ruined, both emotionally and financially, and the place has not fully recovered to this very date. It was so bad, the military were drafted in to help aid the residents of many areas. Temporary shelter was set up in stadiums and hundreds were left there for weeks. Resident singer Harry Connick Jr. organised a massive concert, showcasing some of the biggest stars of the world in order to raise funds for those affected. It contained some huge names like Rolling Stones, Bruce Springsteen and Paul McCartney. And, as promised, it featured Kanye West. The relief effort was subsidised with a TV marathon to raise cash and during one bit, West and comedian Mike Myers were discussing the actions when West let out his true feelings. He said, I hate the way they portray us in the media. You see a black family, it says, they're looting. You see a white family, it says, they're looking for food. I mean, the Red Cross is doing everything they can. We already realise a lot of people that could help are at war right now, fighting another way, and they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. Mike Myers did his best to remain on script before it was back to Kanye where he dropped this bombshell. George Bush doesn't care about black people. There was a massive air of awkwardness and his mic was silenced. One. The Super Bowl is the most televised event across the entire world gathering 80 million viewers on average. It is the final contest between the season's best NFL teams from both East and West. And it's argued that the halftime show is just as anticipated as the game itself, with global superstars such as Katy Perry, Beyonce, Coldplay, Bruno Mars and the Rolling Stones all having performed in spectacular performances. Perhaps the most embarrassing, though, was when Justin Timberlake appeared alongside Janet Jackson. During their performance, things got heated and in a moment of weirdness, Timberlake flipped down her jacket to expose Jackson's breast. Her nipple was covered by a silver star, so it was all scripted, but it was just utterly bizarre and pointless. It's the biggest fail we could think of in recent history on TV. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.